So what we've seen the usage of thermal camera before is in law enforcement. They've used it in law enforcement. They've used it in the construction industry yeah. uh, to find holes and leaks in houses. And we're going to apply that same concept to find holes and leaks in the car. So I'll show you really what we're after. It's going to be like, like this. Okay. So if there's a leak, like a 13 CFM leak, yep. when it's when it's the plug, that's a plug that we pulled out on purpose, yep. and it shows up nice and bright. All right, so how do you so, do it? First of all, you, you got a machine that's pumping yep. hot air into the car, right? So we have a machine yep. that puts the air. That air flows through a heater. Okay. Heats the air. That heated air goes into the car, and then that heated air tries to find its way out of the car. So once that heated air gets out of the car, then it's going to heat up the sheet metal or the plastic or whatever around that hole where it's trying to get out of the car. It'll light up, and we know there's a hole there. All right, so show me. So we'll show you. Yeah, show me the camera. So he's got the thermal camera. All right, you got the business end of this thing, right? Thermal yeah. camera. All right, so let's see you do this. All right, so we're. we're uh, Right here. Okay. Right, here's my hand. See? Let me see. Moving around. Yeah, got it. Right. Yeah, got your hand. All right. And I'm going to just touch the car. Okay. Hold it there for about 10 seconds or so. And then I'm going to let it go. And there's your heat signature. So, got it. It's pretty sensitive. It picks up just that small heat, heat yeah. transfer. So, if we go to the car itself. Which one is that? Let me show you. And now we're going to the car. We have a keypad here, and the keypad has a wire going through it. You can see that there's some heat escaping out through here. And then you can see, like right, right in this area, okay. where he's got the laser pen, that's starting to turn yellow. So if we let it run for like a, a minute or so, it'll turn more red and then white. But there's there's definitely something going on right here. So if you want to go ahead and shut that off. Okay. It'd be a very warm car, I bet. Yeah. It would, how, how hot do you warm it up? 120 degrees oh, Fahrenheit. It is hot, yeah. So, so here's a, the panel. Okay. We, they don't come off this easily normally. Right. Yeah. <laughs> don't try this at home, you'll break your panel. <laughs> <laughs> so we remove the door panel, and you can see here's the hole that exists. This grommet is not installed properly. We have the arrow showing it there. It's a little dark in here. Yeah, I can see it. But you'd then have to install the grommet. So what we found was, you know, grommet's not in its correct location. The, the hot air goes through here. It heats up the outer panel. And then we detect that on the thermal camera. So do you do this on production cars or cars coming off the assembly line or both? Uh, we, primary, we only have three thermal cameras right now. Okay. But so we do it during our launches right now. We're trying to get more of them on the assembly plant, but we do, we can take this on the assembly plant as well. We do air leakage on all our cars that come off, not everyone, it's, we sample 10 to 20 a day. Yep. We do air leakage and we're trying to introduce this thermal camera now to all the plants so it makes their job easier too. Because you can imagine if you just got a number and it was high by five liters per second, the question is where is it, right? Where is that hole? There's 200, 300, holes that go through a typical body structure, you don't know where it is. So with the thermal camera, you can find it bam. right away. Yep. Find it right away.